it is now two or three days since I set the camera trap up. So firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the sensor still working. Um, I did trip a few flashes, I think it still is. Let me just make sure. Yeah. So this flash is continuing to fire him, but over there it seems we've got an issue with the flash in the housing. Um, potentially battery, potentially trigger, there's quite a lot of different technical things that can go wrong in camera trapping. Uh, but at least I know that this single flash has still been working. So I'm going to take off the cover, um, so give me a few minutes while I do that and then we'll see if we've got any images, so fingers crossed we do. It's always an exciting time when you're checking a uh, camera trap, especially when you know that there's animals in the area. That's the trigger going off. I'm going to unplug the trigger just whilst we check. It's always like Christmas. Uh, and now I know that we're not going to get any bobcats or cougars or mountain lions, anything um, predatory really, um, possibly the fox. So I'm going to go and have a look and see if we've got anything. Okay, so these are all the triggers that I've set off to be in here. Okay, cool. So we've got a fox, which is really, really cool actually. Um, just trying to scoot under the fence. Um, yeah, I really like that image. I really do. Um, you can see the fox is just coming underneath that barbed wire there. Uh, lovely kind of lighting that you've got there. Um, it's not a typical, what most people think of flash photography and big and flashy in your face. It's quite subtle lighting. Let's have a look. I think that is potentially everything that we've got. Uh, oh, no, there's a few more. This is probably me uh, setting the camera trap. Oh no, we've got a. Wow! <laughs> we've got a fox in the daytime, guys. Um, just clipped his tail. Um, I think either running through. Um, but that is really, really cool. And I don't know, but it looks maybe like this fox only has three legs. Oh no, it's got four. <laughs> because in the daytime, guys, what you'll sometimes get is ghosting, where because you're using a slightly longer exposure, um, it will sometimes, the light from behind will bleed through the main subject, but that's really cool that we've got the fox on there. Um, And that's it. So still no badgers unfortunately uh, but what I'm going to do today is take back all the batteries uh, that I need and all the pretty much all the equipment uh, because my house isn't too far away I can go home charge all the batteries and everything up and then we will come back and set it up a little bit later on. So we're going to go home set up the batteries again set up the camera you've seen me do it before so I won't be videoing it um, but as I say, this is a new channel, uh, a lot of you guys, you know, really great. From Some of you come from the Camera Trap and Remote Photography Forum on Facebook. Uh, so thanks again for coming and visiting. It's great to see many of you subscribing. If there's anything in particular, I know some people wanted to know about my flash settings, other people you know, want to know about sensors, whatever. Please drop me a comment below. Um, as I say, this is a brand new channel, so I'd love to hear your ideas about what we can do. Uh, and how I can try and help you maybe uh, achieve some great camera trap images yourself. So what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll put the images up uh, that um, you've seen them before, because I'll put them in the videos I'm explaining through, but I'll put them up at the end of the video so you can see them and see the results that I've got. Uh, still no badger yet, so fingers crossed that tonight when we come back and set it up and over the weekend maybe a badger will come and pop out. Uh, it's been quite warm, uh, so I know they'll be very active. There is another entrance just over there, um, but I don't have two camera traps uh, set up. So what I'll do is say put the images up on the end of the screen and also a little sneak preview of uh, some footage that I've shot of using a Reolink Go Plus. Uh, now Reolink have very kindly sent me this camera to test out and so far I'm amazed. 
uh, and hopefully we can work together uh, and incorporate into the camera trap setup as well. So that'll be something really interesting for you guys to stay tuned for. So without further ado, I'll put the images up on the end of this video and uh, thanks again for coming and watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and liking. It's great to have some support as it's a brand new channel. Uh, I'm not really too sure if it's going to be all camera trapping or a bit of wildlife and landscape photography on the side. But yeah, right, I'm going to go and dismantle everything here uh, and I will then uh, put the images up for you to enjoy. Thanks again guys, see you soon. Oh,